everyone, it's Mike. Welcome to Mike's Home and Garden. Thank you for joining me for another video. If you're a recent homeowner with a Bermuda grass lawn or of 2021 is the year you decided to take control of your yard to ensure it's weed free all season, then today's the video for you. We're gonna go over how to do it in an affordable and easy way. We're gonna go over pre-emergent weed control in three sections. One, what is pre-emergent weed control? Two, what are some of my product recommendations? And three, why splitting the application is gonna give you better results. We're gonna cover a lot of information, so I dropped some timestamps down in the description. Feel free to move around the video to the information you need, but I encourage you to watch all the way to the end so you don't miss out. Now, as you can see behind me, the lawn is pretty wet. We are not gonna put pre-emergent down today, but we need to talk about what kind of plan to have so we're ready when the time comes, which is, should be in the next few weeks. We wanna make sure that our soil temperature does not get above 55 degrees Fahrenheit before we put down our pre-emergent. So if you do not have one, go to either Target, Walmart, Amazon, or even Bed Bath & Beyond and get a digital meat thermometer, bring it out into your yard and put it down into the soil about three to four inches and see what temperature it is. As it approaches that 55 degree mark, that's when you know it's time to start thinking about pre-emergent weed control. What happens if you go over 55 degrees is that's the temperature that weed seeds will start to germinate. And once they start germinating and establishing, it's gonna be harder to prevent them from spreading in your lawn. We wanna start now and have our defenses in place to ensure weeds do not establish or spread in our lawn. If they start to establish, then it becomes a post-emergent issue, which is a topic for another video. So why do we need pre-emergent? A common problem that we have with our lawns is the surrounding areas have weeds, and those weeds will pressure our lawns by trying to spread and take root in our grass. Especially when it starts getting warm out and the summer breeze is blowing, or people are out mowing their lawns, or birds are flying around, those weed seeds are spreading and they're looking for the next lawn to lay victim to and attack and start spreading and ruining our great looking turf. We don't want that to happen, and that's why we're setting up our defenses now with that pre-emergent application. These pre-emergents, which are technically herbicides, create a barrier on the top layer of the soil. So when weed seeds start to germinate and send out their little root looking for soil and nutrients, they come in contact with that chemical and die. As long as that top soil layer is undisturbed through the season and you get the pre-emergent down in time, you can be sure that that pre-emergent will keep your lawn weed-free all season long. So now that we have an understanding about how pre-emergents work and why we need them, let's talk about some product options and my recommendation. So the two main name brands that you're gonna find for crabgrass preventer, which is our pre-emergent product, is either Lesco or Sunny Lens. Now in terms of active ingredients, they are both pre-emergents and both work great. They're very effective. The difference is Lesco is prodiamine and Sunny Lens is dithiophyr. Without getting too technical, prodiamine is a very effective pre-emergent and dithiophyr is a very effective pre-emergent but also has some post-emergent characteristics on very early established crabgrass. At the end of the day, get what's available. Some Lowe's and Home Depot's and some parts of the country will have options to have both. Some will have either or. What I recommend is take a look and see what options you have and get what's affordable. Personally, I saw both of them at my Lowe's. The Sunny Lens was on sale for half price. I only paid 14 bucks for all season long protection. Do what makes sense for you. You can't go wrong with either. One thing to keep in mind, these are granular products, so you will need a spreader to apply it. If you do not have a spreader, I've been using the Scott's Mini Spreader on my 6,000 square foot lawn since I've moved into this home. I've had no issues. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to put a link down in the description to the Scott's Mini Spreader. So if you do not have a spreader or it's time to get a new one, go check it out. All right, so now that we've talked about what pre-emergence do and what product to get, if 2021 is the year you're going to take control of the weeds in your lawn, smash that like button and drop a comment down below when are you going to put pre-emergent in your lawn? So let's talk about why we should split the pre-emergent application from one into two applications in our yard and what that benefit is. Make sure you follow the application directions on the bag of pre-emergent that you get. It should have directions based on your grass type and lawn size. You're going to see these instructions for an annual rate because really one-time applications is the general rule with pre-emergents. So why should you split it into two? You should split it into two if you're in the transition zone or down south where you see summers that are regularly above 85 degrees Fahrenheit. What happens with pre-emergent once it's on the soil and creates that barrier in the soil is once the soil starts really warming up and all the microorganisms in the soil start to wake up, they start breaking down the pre-emergent. Generally, pre-emergent with the one-time annual application in the cooler parts of the country should last six to eight months to get you well into fall. But in the hot zones, the transition zone, and down south, those hot soil temperatures will start breaking down that pre-emergent much faster. So this is where the split application comes into play. Because of the warmer soil temperatures, we want to extend the active life of the pre-emergent. Once those soil temperatures reach that 55 degree mark, put the first half of the application down. 
And then about 12 weeks later, put the second half down. What this does is once the soil reaches 55 degrees, it establishes that weed barrier. And then as the soil temperatures warm up in about 12 weeks, you put another application down, which then extends the life of the pre-emergent into fall. So with these hot parts of the country, by splitting the application, by putting half down now when it's 55 degrees in the soil, and then the other half down in about 12 weeks, it ensures that as it starts breaking down in the soil, there's enough of the product in the soil that's newer that won't break down as fast, so it'll extend your coverage in the late summer and in the fall, so your lawn will stay weed-free. So if you're a transition zone or southern lawn, I encourage you to follow the split application process to have best success with your pre-emergent application. I don't want to see your lawn get taken over by weeds. Now if you want to have a great looking lawn while keeping it simple and affordable, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All season long, I have videos coming out with tips to keep your lawn and garden looking great while keeping it easy, affordable, and fun. I'll see you on the next video.